it's awesome to play with my brother, you know, and share the ice, you know, just to be out there and practice with him and, you know, put in extra hours with him and really see, like, you know, how much he's improved and grown to his game has been amazing. Yeah, so growing up in Minnesota, it's um, obviously known as the state of hockey for a reason. Me and my brother would always go out, my friends would go to this outdoor rink about a mile down the road. That seemed to be the spot compared to any other rink in the town. That is one of my favorite memories because I basically played hockey because I wanted to be just like him. So he basically dragged me out into it. So if it wasn't for him, I would be playing. You know, going to that tournament, you know, for the first time in, I don't know, 30 years, whatever it was, it was a big deal. And, you know, as a freshman, it's hard to take it for granted. And a senior now, you know, I haven't been back there. So it was a really great experience playing Duluth, which they ended up winning that year and we took them in the overtime. So I you know that was a really good team and you know I was really glad to be a part of it. Obviously the situation with with Taylor and Spencer last spring was was not something that uh, any previous experience I'd had allowed me to be comfortable with it. It was certainly not something that uh, you're prepared for by any stretch. I was getting ready to go to my afternoon class. And on the way, I got a text from my coach saying, if he can meet me at the rink, it's important. All the coaches were in there and stuff, and I didn't know what, I didn't know what to expect or what it was about. And um, I sat down and um, my mom was on the line. and told me my dad passed away unexpectedly. <sighs> it's like the biggest, like, the biggest train of emotion just hits you. It's indescribable, really. I remember just breaking down. From that second on, like, your life will never, ever be the same. I don't believe it. It's like, <sighs> what happened? This and that. I think it was just the most shocking moment ever. Spencer being here this year and coming to be with his brother has provided an extraordinary amount of support for Taylor. Uh, Taylor hasn't said that explicitly, but it is very obvious when the brothers are together. They spend a lot of time together. They're deeply connected. Obviously their bond has only deepened with the loss of their father. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm really happy my brother's here. Um, it gives me a reason, you know, to stay you know, on my toes and just be strong. You know, I don't know what I would do. Really special that we can lean on each other when we need it too. obviously you know five other camera angles but that one had the shot it was really important especially now yeah. it's just a special moment and I'll always have that shot in my memory and then keep it with me for the rest of my life Hello and welcome everyone to a loaded madhouse on Mercer, the Slater Family Ice Arena on the campus of Bowling Green State University. It is a beautiful sight to see this place packed. When he scored that, I knew what that meant to him. Held in at the line by Parker, his shot deflected on rebound! Score, we are tied! First goal of the season for Taylor Schneider. I was so extraordinarily happy for him. I was emotional on the bench after that was for him and you know he's definitely on my mind all the time. You know, last place he saw me play, I know he would be there because he, he came to every home weekend the year prior. We were we were excited for him. What do you say? Hey, great job and and then you give him some time to gather himself and be ready for the next shift. It, it was an extraordinary moment and I'm sure for him um, one of the most meaningful memories he'll ever have.
So this is uh, this is my dad's handwriting. Um, on Christmas, about 10 years ago, he gave me and my brother a picture of him when he played basketball in high school. And he wrote, to Spencer, to Taylor, your role model on each of the pictures. When times are tough, I just kind of look down. It's just a really nice reminder, just didn't always think of me, and he truly was our role model. I know his proudest moment would be him seeing me and my brother share the ice uh, by far. I miss a lot of things about him, and I love him very much.